We have a 1962 Chevy Impala Genuine Super Sport, had a body off frame rotisserie restoration, and I have pictures here of the entire process. They took this down to a bare body shell, I mean just a shell, flipped it on a rotisserie, so the underneath's done as nice as the top, all the chassis redone. They ripped out all the guts, the, the gauges, wiring, everything. Uh, so very nicely restored car. Has a 409 dual quad motor under the hood and a four speed sitting between the bucket seats. Visit volocars.com. That's where you get a price tag on this one and 200 other collector cars that are all for sale. Each one will also have a monthly payment as well. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, it's got a lowered stance. I can tell by looking at it and standing there. I squatted it down. The body's excellent. The hood is excellent. There is a chip right here in the paint. I will have that professionally touched up. Uh, all clean metal, smooth, shiny, straight, lines up beautifully. I, if you watch my videos, you know I'm really a nerd about doors that shut nice. And I remember when I bought the car, that's one of the things I really liked about it, even with the windows rolled up. Just click shut. The roofs on these cars have like a fake body line here and there. It's supposed to look like a convertible, like that's where the top bows would be. Uh, but all this is excellent. Quarter panels are clean. The car was built in California. I couldn't tell you where it lived all of its life, but it did start out in California, and the body is super nice, clean, straight, fits really well all the way to the very bottom, even underneath here. It all feels factory, all real nice, clean, straight, smooth. I don't see any rust, damage. Shuts so nice. All clean, excellent body. Body is excellent. Repainted its original color, that's ermine white. And again, smooth and glossy. Uh, the only significant flaw is that chip, which we'll have touched up. <clears throat> I believe they replaced all of the glass. The windshield and the rear window, crystal clear. I rolled up the side windows, crystal clear. They, they look new. So I, I'm going to say that's all replaced. The gaskets were replaced. Up front here, all the trim, the emblem, the bumper, all looks like it was replaced. It all looks new. 409 cross flags. It is a real super sport, so it has this machine turned trim in the middle. The non super sport, I think, would just be painted white or, or a certain color. But this is machine turned super sport trim, all straight and shiny. Door handle looks new. All this trim is probably original. It was buffed and polished, all looking real nice. All real nice trim. Rear mountain tent, I always think, looks cool as the SS Impala, sparkling SS. More machine turn trim, unique to the Super Sport. Round tail lights. I'm sure all of this was replaced. It looks that way. It has fuel door trim here. That's a little dress up option, new gas cap. Rocker molding trim, I believe is an option. Weather strips and window seals were replaced. Tires and wheels are new. They're 15 inch steel rims with the Chevy Poverty Hubcaps, radial red line tires, they're BF Goodrich tires. I think it gives it a great look. And again, the stance, it's nice. Let's open it up, I got a lot more to show you. I can tell it's lowered, you gotta really bend down to open the trunk. Okay, so under the trunk lids, painted nicely, and the jam is painted real slick. The whole car was apart when they painted it. New weather strip. Looks like the wiring's new. And inside is all clean metal. They always rust all right in that area. This looks clean and solid. Uh, spatter painted with the gray and white spatter. Nice clean trunk compartment. Visit volocars.com to see our entire inventory and you'll find prices and the finance application and videos and pictures and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're always posting new videos. Click the bell icon to subscribe. So the jams were painted, the door latches and weather strips uh, were replaced. 
It is a real super sport. I love the red interior. It pops. All new interior, reproduction door panels, armrests, the, the bases of the armrests, all that's redone or replaced. The dash area is real nice. And actually, um, oh, that's not the lights. They're Dakota gauges. I guess I have to turn the key on, but it's all modern Dakota gauges. Little tachometer in the middle there. All this trim looks like it's been replaced. All the metals painted up real nice. Retro stereo fits right in the factory hole. Uh, has the SS grab bar. The car was a factory air conditioned car, so here's uh, the vent from that. The, the heat and AC uh, were deleted, uh, so you can put a vintage air system in here and have, that'd be real nice. Nice carpet down on the floor, embroidered mats, a rare 62 center console with the four speed correct shifter and the bezel around the shifter, all that's correct. It looks beautiful. Seats are rebuilt. I can tell they're new cushions, new upholstery. And I'll put a few of these pictures on the website, but there's just the frame, you know, the bare frame. There's the car in a rotisserie flipped upside down. Now it's coming back together, getting restored. All clean metal everywhere. Uh, so yeah, this was really, uh, really taken all the way. There are new red seat belts in front. They weren't yet a law. Someone put those in. All rebuilt or uh, reupholstered, I should say. The seats, the side panels, all looks done. There is sound deadener under the carpet. The rear window shelf is excellent. Headliner has been replaced. They were doing little stars. You look up at the stars. That was popular back then, matching visors. Really nice interior. They did install a custom tilt column with a custom steering wheel. Yep, looking really good in here. That is a 409 engine. It's got the aluminum intake on top with dual Edelbrock carbs. Imagine putting your foot into that and opening all eight barrels there. Uh, you'll feel it and you'll literally hear it. You'll, you'll hear it and you'll see the gas gauge drop. Billet distributor in the back, you know, modern ignition. Wires are all routed neatly. It's all clean, stock manifolds. Inner fenders are all painted real nice. You can see the suspension's all redone nice. New water pump. Battery is secured, has a disconnect. Upgraded big aluminum radiator to keep it cool. Original type shroud and a new clutch fan. Has an overflow bottle. Uh, power steering. New alternator. Upgraded power disc brake system. So, uh, yeah, and more new wiring. But all nice and clean and proper in here. Looking good. Dual quad 409. Under the hood's nice. So, Michael's going to take you out, show you what she's got. Here we have a very, very beautiful frame off restoration, 1962 Impala SS. Uh, super cool car, one of the original muscle cars. You know, 409 engine with a 425 horsepower, four speed manual. Awesome car. Got some modern upgrades and conveniences on there Dakota digital gauges, uh, power steering power brakes, everything. Very nice overall. And this thing is cherry. Let's see. All right, let's 
Let's see what she's got. There's only 409. Oh yeah, this thing is sweet. She got a little squirrely there, but uh, yeah, awesome car all the way around. Awesome, awesome car. <laughs> Lots of fun. Plenty of power. Just a real classy, classy car. Riding super nice over the bumps. This motor's tight. Again, this is a frame off restoration car. Everything's been gone through on it. Um, yeah, it's super tight. It feels great. Steering feels great. Suspension's great. Give it one more punch right here a little bit. Nice. Yeah, check us out, volocars.com. So yes, the body was off the frame. So while the frame was all taken apart and painted, it all went back together all rebuilt in new parts. So all of the suspension, front and back, springs, bushings, hardware, ball joints, steering, all been rebuilt, replaced. Uh, they did upgrade it with disc brakes in front. Wasn't available for another five or six years, but this one has it. Uh, the e-brake is hooked up, their drum brakes in back, new fuel system, uh, the tank was replaced, the straps, all that good stuff. Uh, really nice exhaust. All new, follows the X frame, so they did a really nice job bending it and installing it just like factory would have, factory style mufflers. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still spotless, has a, a new starter, a correct style starter. Uh, it is a T10 four speed transmission. Uh, so yeah, an underbody, all clean, rust free metal, painted white. That's how nice it is under there. It's all gloss white floors with the black chassis. It looks real sweet. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman to help answer your questions, how to get it financed, how to get it uh, delivered to your door, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.